Welcome to Council Update. I'm City Administrator Jennifer Levitt. And I'm Mayor Myron Bailey. Thanks for joining us. On March 20th, the first day of spring, the City Council declared a state of emergency based on a scientific model predicting localized areas of high water in the city. The Council authorized the declaration after hearing from city engineers and public safety leaders, county emergency managers, state hydrologists, and scientists with the National Weather Service. A state of emergency ensures responses and recovery efforts can be quickly supported and cost recovery options will be available if or when the city needs them. Our number one priority is the safety of our residents and our teams will make every effort to protect property when possible. The city has a robust and coordinated plan to respond to high water following rising temperatures and rapid snow melt. Go to the city's webpage and click on the flood tab where we will be constantly adding timely and updated information. This month, the council also approved plans for the air gas development in the city's business park. Air gas plans to operate an air separation plant and bring 35 high paying jobs to the city. Workers will use a cooling and pressure system to create industrial medical specialty gases. Air gas will develop eight and a half acres and the facility will include two cold box towers and a maintenance and office building. Construction on the buildings will likely take place this year and the company plans to install its equipment in 2020. And we've got good news for seniors. We've been working hard on providing housing options and now we're making progress on helping our residents get around town. The council has authorized a committee to work on a local bus circulator route for our senior residents. We'll be working with DARTS, a nonprofit transportation expert who will help us conduct a needs assessment and explore route options. The city is also focusing on keeping the transportation fees affordable. We feel this service will greatly help our senior residents stay connected to services and the retail outlets available throughout Cottage Grove. At one of our March Council meetings, we also learned more about our Police Explorer program. Our 15 explorers help our police department in many ways, and the program gives them a first-hand look at the field of law enforcement. The experience helps them to decide if they'd like to pursue a public safety career. Explorers range in age from 15 to 20 years old. This month, they spent time bagging groceries at Hy-Vee, connecting with community members, and raising money for their Explorer program. Finally, just a quick reminder that we continue to explore a potential community center here in the city of Cottage Grove. In March, the Economic Development Authority and Planning Commission began discussing potential site options while the city staff members continued exploring potential amenities with residents in a variety of ways. More than 1,000 people took part in the first weekend after we launched a survey on the web asking residents to voice their opinions on potential options. We'll take all this information, including a market analysis done by Leo A. Daly, and present it back to the community, perhaps in the form of three potential building options. Check out cottagegrovemn.gov backslash community center. We'll continue to update residents and conduct community outreach and surveys as we look at a potential referendum question in the November ballot. As you can see, we've got a lot going on. That's it for this edition of the Council Update. I'm Mayor Myron Bailey. And I'm City Administrator Jennifer Levitt. Thanks for watching.